Welcome to the Naked Bite Kitchen. I'm Amber Antonelli. With over 10 years in the restaurant business, you learn quite a few interesting tricks of the trade. But the one that I still use the most these days and that I share with almost everybody that I cook with is how to deal with garlic. So this is peeled garlic that you purchase in the produce section of pretty much any grocery store these days. And it will usually have, you know, the little end that holds the head together. So I'm just gonna trim that off with a paring knife. And sometimes it has a little bit of extra skin, that one did in particular. These ones have already been cleaned. And then I'm gonna take them and put them into my food processor. And I do this probably about once a week. I use a little bit more garlic than the average home cook most likely. But you can do as much as you think you will need for just about a week. Okay, so put the lid on. I have this is fitted with the S-blade attachment. You can also use this in a one of those small food processors as well. And then stop, and some of the bigger pieces will get thrown up around the sides. And then you're going to pulse a couple more times. Until you get a fine mince. This is about a week's worth of garlic for me. I use a lot of garlic here, as you can imagine. For you, you might want to use a little bit less, but it will stay fresh for about seven days. The trick, actually, to keeping it as fresh as possible is to cover it with olive oil. But I will like to use as much as possible, well, I should say, I will use what I'm using for that day, that application, and then I will cover it in olive oil so you're not using excess olive oil for no reason. This is my favorite olive oil, the Lucini, but you can use whatever high quality olive oil you have on hand. I would definitely not say it needs to be the highest quality, maybe not ones that you would use for finishing salads and, and you know, your more specialty items, but an everyday olive oil that you will use for cooking. So olive oil to cover, and you would do you know, just enough to get it immersed in there. You, you don't need it floating all the way to the top. And this will stay good in your fridge for our seven days. You can keep it a little bit longer than that, but it starts to lose some of the vibrancy. You can also put it in ice cube trays in your freezer and that will last, you know, indefinitely for quite a few months. Then you can pop it out and use it as you need. And yeah, this is by far one of my favorite kitchen time savers, I would say. Thanks for watching. For this recipe and more, you can click the link below. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for learning to make healthier choices one naked bite at a time. Ciao.